Hello YouTube, it's Magma Rhino. Today I'm just going to do a quick overview of the new marketplace um, released by Asus in their recent update. On uh, November 3rd they released an update exclusively from Asus. It was not a Google uh, provided one. And in that, one of the many things they included was this new marketplace. Um, this is the main yeah, this is the main page of the market once you start it up. It's got this nice kind of magazine style layout, um, a bunch of featured apps, movies, and books are just kind of scattered around. Uh, it categorizes, categorizes each one by color. Apps have the little green bar on the left. Uh, books are blue, movies are red. Um, and then right here it's got your quick links to apps, books, and movies, and then it also has one for games. Hmm. Um, so apps is the one that most people would be visiting. Uh, keep in mind, since this is so many pictures, it is a bit slower loading. But this is the main page for games. Um, how, whoops, that's what I was just going to do. Um, if you want to go to your categories, you slide to your, slide your finger to your right, and you get your categories list right here. Um, when you tap one of them, it brings you to a pretty kind of similar page where you can swap between... Uh, all of the different um, subcategories in each main category. Um, but also on this main app, main app page, you can scroll over for top tablet apps, top paid overall, top free overall, uh, editor's choice, top grossing, new paid, new free, and trending. So you got a bunch of choices there. Um, Games is pretty much similar, um, except, of course, it's only games, and the categories is only games. Whoops. Um, alright. Alright, on. Whoops. Hit back too many times. Um, on your books page, same layout. Categories are over here. There you get all your categories, and then you can scroll through all the different pages with all of the different... Um, books, stuff like that. And then movies, again, same thing. So they really made this much more uniform. Um, I believe it is much cleaner looking. Uh, I, I like the magazine kind of style layout on the main page of each one. Um, I just think it's it looks pretty good. It's a lot more colorful than the original one, where it was basically categories down here, and then you got the slider up top with the featured apps. Um, so, let me just go to the My Apps page, which is significantly different, and I don't really like it, because they wasted space. As you can see on both sides, I don't know why they did. Um, but it works the same as before, you got the open, update, install. Now when you update it, you don't have to go to the, it doesn't like shoot you to the app page, it just does it automatically. Um, but you have all the permissions here, um, and then some nice new features in the settings are now you can turn on or off notifications down here. Uh, you can turn on auto-update whenever you install something, um, so now all your apps automatically update. You don't have to go through and check every single one. Um, have it only update over Wi-Fi doesn't really apply to this. Um, and then you can shut off the auto-adding shortcuts to the home screen, which... Um, I shut that off because that just used to be a pain. Um, and then the rest of these settings are the same. The new build version is 3.3.11 in case you are keeping track. Um, but other than that, I didn't really notice any changes. Uh, now it does queue. If you have multiple downloads, it will queue them. And it will only download one at a time, whereas before I believe it would do three. So I'm not really sure if that's like a positive or negative, it might speed up or slow, I don't know, whatever. Um, but everything else, the the basic layout for each subcategory is the same, uh, it just looks a lot smoother, not smooth, it looks cleaner, and it's much smoother going from one category to another, you don't have to go back and then reselect the category, you just slide over this way. So that's pretty much it, again, searches the search that didn't change. 
Let me just search for something. Uh, the search page here is the same too. Um, same thing, you can switch what you're searching for. Um, but that, that's pretty much it. So they did do quite a few cosmetic changes to the marketplace. But like the the base layout, especially of these, is the same because they're really not going to ever change that. So um, yeah, I do like the, the new marketplace a lot better. Um, there was a, a lot of new features in this uh, blah 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 update provided by Asus, um, including this web storage uh, widget, an app backup app which doesn't actually work, and a few other things. Except if you want to see that, uh, go up there to my channel and you can go check out the update information where I go over everything in detail. So thank you for watching. Please go up there and subscribe to me. It helps me out a lot. And I'll be doing those giveaways once I hit 500 subs. So help me get there quicker by going up there and hitting that button. Um, also, go and hit the like button. Show your support. Uh, and motivates me to make more videos like this. Uh, it really helps to know that you guys enjoy my videos and want to see more. So thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll see you soon.